watching Texas Gun Blog and today we're looking at the Type 14 Nambu. This was designed in 1925 with the goal of simplifying manufacturing to reduce cost. It was officially adopted for issue to non-commissioned officers in the Japanese Army in 1927 and was available for purchase by officers. The Type 14 was an improved version of the Type A Nambu. As many as 400,000 Type 14s were possibly produced. Most Type 14s are marked with the month and year of production according to the year of Emperor Hirohito and his name, uh, his reign name abbreviated SHO or SHO from Shawa left of the stamp date. Later production models are also distinguished by an enlarged oblong trigger guard which was introduced after Japanese soldiers reported difficulty in accessing the trigger while wearing gloves in cold weather. Uh, these also sometimes have a knurled steel cocking knob instead of the standard slotted cocking knob. An auxiliary magazine spring was added from mid-1940 onward to retain the stopping uh, the sear from moving. A redesigned cocking knob was also implemented in 1944 to simplify production. The Type 14 also lacks the grip safety used on the previous models. Uh, it could be equipped with a Type 90 tear gas grenade with the use of a special attachment, which is awesome. Pre-World uh, pre War II Type 14s are well made with quality during wartime dropping. Machine marks, the lack of polishing, and thin bluing became more common as wartime shortages affected quality. The later Type 14s remained quite functional despite the decreased quality of production. Holster quality for the Type 14 also degraded as the shortages of critical raw materials forced to change from leather to rubberized canvas. One of the most interesting things about this pistol is uh, William B. Ruger acquired one of these Type 14s from a returning U.S. Marine that brought it back in 1945. He fell in love with it and uh, duplicated two Nambus in his garage. And although he decided against marketing them, the uh, handgun's rear cocking device and Nambu silhouette was incorporated into the Ruger 22 semi-auto pistol, uh, which later became the Mark I, Mark II, and Mark III series that were sold to the American public. So if you're looking to get one of these, we hope our high-quality video helps you get an idea of what they, what they look like. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. You can find us at TexasGunBlog.com. Thank you. Thank you.